can we use chat gpt to solve machine learning problems today if so how well can we solve them will they help us get good accuracies let's find out in this particular video we are going to solve one regression machine learning case study the objective really is to solve a kaggle playground problem statement using chat gpt and we'll get the base solution however the question still remains can we use chat gpt to improve the scores and rank on the leaderboard well that i don't know you can experiment and let me know whether we can rank on the leaderboard using chat gpt or not but for this particular video we are just going to focus on the base solution and see where chat gpt is going to help us rank on the leaderboard you will require a kaggle account and a free chat gpt version you can take it from either open ai or from bing chat we are going to solve the predict media campaign cost problem statement from kaggle the dependent variable is going to be the cost the independent variables are store sale unit sales and several other columns that are available these are just a list these are only few that i have listed here but you can find lot more other columns within the problem statement so let's go ahead and start solving this problem using chat gpt make sure you're logged into your kaggle account and you are on this particular page that is regression with tabular media campaign cost data set we are working on the season 3 episode 11 now there's the data and there's the code. We're just going to write a code by selecting this one and say new notebook. That's the place we're going to start. Next, you're also going to require a chat GPT. I have chat GPT 3.5 and the subscription. I'm going to use the 3.5 for this particular problem statement and see if there's any different from a subscribed version on. But in case you don't have this, you can also use Bing chat. If you ask to write a code, it will help you write a code and give it to you. So either of which of them will be very helpful. Now I'm going to begin with the chat GPT 3.5 and I'm going to go back to the Kaggle problem statement, minimize this, expand this, and I'm going to say new notebook. Ensure your language is on Python and if it is on R, you can switch it back to Python and this is all you need to get started. Now, if you look at the data set, the data set is available here, season three, episode 11, the train test sample submission. Now, the idea here is that we're going to use the train data to build the model. We're going to use the test data to make predictions. The sample submission file is the one that will guide us to make the sample submission file so that we can submit it to the competition. We're going to first begin with giving a prompt to chat GPT and seeing uh, whether or not it can give us some base code or not. Now I'm going to go to chat GPT, free one that I'm using. I'm going to say, imagine you are an expert in solving machine learning problem statements. Write a code to predict cost using several features enter and let's see what kind of code it gives us now it has given us the code that we can use and implement within the kaggle so let us get started now instead of copying this entire bunch of code and then implementing stuff i want to copy section by section that is wherever there is a heading i'm going to put that into one block of code and then run it that way it will be easier to debug change and do stuff okay so i'm going to take the first part go back to kaggle and i'm going to take here and i'm going to run this particular one next it says import the required libraries now we've got the libraries if you go back to the code, it says load data set. So I'm just going to copy this one here, go back here and paste it here. And now I want to run train and then I'm going to copy this train data set from here and then paste it. Ensure you can, you can copy the path from this particular button here. It says copy file path. You can only get it if you hover over it. Right. So I got the train. Now one of the things that you will see that it has imported a data set. So we're going to say, okay, hey, I have train test and I'm solving a cattle problem statement. So let's see if it can modify accordingly. So I'm going to say here, I'm solving a Kaggle problem statement. Write the code in a form where I take in train and test data set and and then export a submission file so enter the chat gpt basically has the context of what you're doing so as and when when you provide little more context to it it's going to build over it and try to get you the solution so here's another code that it has written now it has the train data and test data and now i can get both of this directly away so i'm just going to go here right and paste it here and let's just run the import and import the data first see if that is working then the rest of the codes 
can come. I'm gonna say run. So make sure you run the first cell or else you'll get error like me. I'm gonna run that again and then import the date. Now it will give you an ugly error. The reason it's going to give you an ugly error is because train.csv is not found. So you have, to, you have to do the same trick again like I did earlier. Now if you run the code, it's going to be available. So we are successfully able to load the data set that is load the train and test data sets. Got that step done. Now going back to the next step, which is going to be bringing the data into features X and Y uh, variable. So we call this the partitioning of the data. Let's see if I can do that. So we have the train data, we're going to drop cost and in the Y train, the cost is going to be there. So I'm going to run that and it doesn't have the cost not found in access. We are going to get an error again. We should know what's probably there in the data set before we run all of these codes. So chat GPT will not be perfect in terms of guessing the names. If you give the correct names, it will do it right. But you need to do your own due diligence before you can. So I'm just going to say train.data info and I'm going to run it. Now it has small cost that is small C cost. So I'm going to change that to cost same that to cost now once i make this change it's going to work but i need to also prompt chat gpt to do the same also so i'll say make the cost column name in lower case that is cost. so if i if there is cost mentioned anywhere else in the code it's going to make it lower case and we can use it without any errors we have the split data now and the next step after the split, there is this random forest model that's it, it's building. So I'm just going to copy the random forest model and here, and we're going to copy the random forest model. Go here, escape below, below, below to S get more cells go here say model random forest and estimators all of. So we got the model and now we're going to fit the model, right? So remember there are four steps to creating the models and making predictions out of it. First you import the package, then you declare an instance of that particular model you fit the model and then you make predictions. So that's what we're going to do here. We already imported the model here. We've created one instance of the model. Then we're going to train the model and fit the model. So next, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the next part of it is that, that is, you know, take the test data and make predictions out of it. So I'm going to paste that code. Let's uh, declare the instance, fit the model. It may take a while to run the model. So just wait for it. Now, if your model is taking too long because it's having n estimators as 100, then the only thing that you can do is reduce this and then run them. For example, I'm just going to run it for 25 and then rerun the model again. So I'm going to run this and rerun it. And hopefully it should not take that much long as much as the 100 estimators wanted. So once your model is fitted, it you should be able to see something like this. And that means you can move on to the next step. So we're going to make predictions on the test data. And then we're going to predict using model.predict. So we have the test data which is coming from here. And if you notice test data will not have the variable name cost and that's why we have to predict it. So we're going to say test data run and you'll notice 16th variable that is cost is not available which is why we have to make that prediction yeah? now we we take in the test data and then we say model dot predict it's going to give us the predictions now after that predictions are gotten we can check whether or not what kind of predictions we have so i'm going to run that and it's going to give us some predictions that we can use the next step is to go ahead and make the submission file so i'm going to copy this two lines here and then paste it here now the submission file, we need to check what's available within it. So if you look at the submission file, we can import this and then check what's within it. So let's look at what's available here. So I'm just going to say dot head and close bracket and run it. And it has ID and cost. So we need to ensure that ID and cost is available within the submission data set. Chat GPT gave capital ID. And so we have to make it small ID, small ID, and then small cost, which should be good enough. I'm going to rename the file to be as random forest submission.csv and probably take this to the next line. So here we have, we know what the sample submission file looks like. I'm going to run that and then I'm going to run the two submission files. So it has this submission file. Now if you refresh this on the outputs window here if you refresh and expand you'll have this rf submission file now you can submit this to the competition and see where you rank so let's do that but before we do that we're going to save this work and ensure that it is well documented so first we're going to give this i'm going to rename i'm going to give this as youtube and once that is done i can go to the top and add some kind of a comment here so it can be indicated so I And so now we have the well-documented format and we are ready to go ahead and save this particular version. So 
for that i'm going to say share keep it public right and i'm going to copy this notebook for you and i'm going to keep this i want to give you both the links that is the data set link and the code link in the comment section you can use this to follow along and i'm going to say save it will come here it will say version one say save and run all commit yeah you're going to choose that one and we're going to say save i'll take a while to run all the code and ensure that everything is working if some of the codes are not working then you're going to see an error coming here so just ensure that you look at this space if it is saved you should be seeing version 1 coming here and no errors and then it should be ready to submit to the leaderboard finger cost i'm hoping this one gives a good solution and puts us in the good position on the leaderboard you'll see the successful message here which means this particular code has run and we are made ready to make a submission so to make a submission go ahead and visit this particular code so i'm going to click on this and it will take me to the code now if you look at it there is this output window here so you're going to click on this output and it should rf underscore submission.csv so the file name should be submission.csv and if you have any other file name then this is the process you'll have to do right so i'm going to select that and just going to say submit here and we're going to say rf base solution and say submit as soon as you submit it you will see a private score and a public score and we should be able to with this particular scores know where we land on the leaderboard so if you going to go to the leaderboard and jump to your position if you click on jump to your position so this is the rf random forest benchmark 30686 315 will somewhere be at this particular so it is literally starting at the bottom of the leaderboard the idea here is uh, can we improve this using chat GPT? if you've understood how to use chat gpt and solve a kaggle problem or a machine learning case study then go ahead and implement it and if you have a good score better than this one then do paste your link in the comment section below. for now thank you and please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you like this video